Let me share a fact about some animals like elephants, lions, cows, goats, lizards, frogs, snakes and birds. All these creatures have lungs in their chest cavities. Hence they breathe in the same way as we humans do. However, we have certain other creatures that breathe differently from us. Let's now explore some of these. Take for example a cockroach. It has a small opening on the sides of its body. These openings are called spiracles. Then these insects have a network of air tubes called tracheae for gas exchange. Oxygen rich air rushes through spiracles into the tracheal tubes and then diffuses into the body tissues. This way it reaches every cell in the body. Similarly, the carbon dioxide from the cells goes into the tracheal tubes and moves out through spiracles. One interesting thing to note here is that these tubes and tracheae are found only in insects and not in any other group of animals. You all must have learnt about earthworms in your earlier classes. This will be our other example to know the respiration pattern. You already know that earthworms breathe through their skin. You must have noticed that the skin of an earthworm feels moist and slimy on touching. You know that gases can easily pass through them. We just now learned that frogs have lungs like us. However, they can also breathe through their skin, which is again moist and slippery. Isn't that interesting to know? You all know that a frog can live in water as well as on land and even underground. On land, a frog uses its lungs and breathes like other species. However, during hibernation, when it goes underground twice a year, then its moist skin takes over the function of its lungs like that of an earthworm. In case of a baby frog or tadpoles, there are special organs called gills like fish which helps in breathing. These gills help them to breathe in water by taking in the air dissolved in water so it can manage its breathing in all the places. Most of you go for swimming. What is your experience there? Can you breathe underwater? No, right? Then how do you think fishes can breathe? You all have already learnt about fishes in your earlier classes. You all know that fishes have gills and it is these gills that help fishes to use the oxygen dissolved in water. You know gills are nothing but the projections of skin. The reason that gills help fishes to breathe is that gills are well supplied by blood vessels in the fishes. These blood vessels help in the exchange of gases. Sometimes you must have seen fishes like dolphins and whales come up to the water surface. That is to take some air. And they release fountain of water sometimes while moving up. That is nothing but the release of carbon dioxide. So now we got to know that not all organisms breathe in a similar fashion and all have different ways and body parts to breathe in. However, just one thing is common that all breathe in oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide.